Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Python Flask. Today we are going to learn how to redirect the URL in the Flask. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. To redirect the URL, basically we have to add the redirect or the URL form. These are the two things, right? So in the inner Flask, you can redirect users to a different URL using the redirect function. This function is provided by the Flask and allows you to send the HTTP redirect response to the client's browser, instructing it to navigate to the different URLs. So whenever you want to navigate from the one URL to the another, then you can use the redirect or the URL form. Okay. First, we'll do with the redirect. Okay. Let me copy this and add the code into our file. So this is that one. Let's try to add this one. Okay, so here we go with this one, right? So in route index, index here we are return redirect to the login page. So it should the route should be there. That's why it should redirect. So login, we have make a route and then turn the login page. Then same with the profile page also. Okay, so let's save it. This is the way that you can redirect. So here you can see that it's redirect, right? And this is a different route. Okay. So when I try to return with the slash index, definitely it should go to the redirect to the login page URL. Okay, login and it should print login page. Let's start the Flask app. And uh, here you can see automatically it's login. When I try to just open like this and here you can see that it redirects to the login page. So whenever you try to redirect, you will use the redirect with the URL where you want to redirect okay so the next one that is the url for so you can also use the url for function to generate the urls for the flask routes dynamically so when, when you do with the dynamically part then you will use the url for this function takes the name of the endpoint the name of the view function as an argument and returns the url associated with the endpoint so here we go with this one let's copy and use this one so here we go with this one right so here we go with this one so redirect url for this one login so let's save this and check this one also so here we go with this one i think we should go with redirect like this and here you can see that again it redirects okay to the login page suppose the next criteria that I want to discuss that is even if you rename the login route. Okay, suppose I'm going to rename the login route to auth slash login later, you will need to modify the route definition. Okay, so you have to maintain this one, this route, not this one. Okay, let's have a look on that one. The redirect logic using the URL for login will automatically adjust the new url structure if i suppose i do with auth login okay then what will happen okay so if i go and just make it like this auth slash login okay you can see that the not found correct now i would like to change the route over here so here you can see that I just want to change the route only, not the redirect URL for. Okay. So here we go with this one. I'm just changing this app route, nothing this redirect URL. Then see what will happen. Okay. So here we go with the flask run. And uh, if I try to now, previously it's not working, right? So auth login is there. I haven't changed the route for the uh, this one URL for. Right, so it automatically redirects. Let's see. Here you can see auth login route is there, but I'm automatically redirect the login page. So it adjusts automatically what it says that redirect logic using URL for login will automatically adjust to the new URL structure. Okay, so any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.